everyone in today's class we will learn how to find lcm or least common multiple like in the last class we studied how to find hcf the highest common factor in today's class we will learn how to find lcm but first of all what is lcm lcm is a smallest number smallest number which can exactly divide the given number so if you have two numbers or more than two numbers and you want to find a lcm lcm will be that number which can exactly divide each of the given numbers now there are different methods to find lcm so let's discuss all the methods one by one so methods to find lcm there are different methods first we have listing common multiples then we have prime factorization method then we have short division method and then we have venn diagram method the first method is by listing common multiples now how to find the lcm by listing common multiples suppose you want to find the lcm of 12 and 16 the first step we will do is we will write the multiples of 12 right uh, minimum five multiples like multiples of 12 are 12 24 36 48 write some multiples then write some multiples of 16 now check the least multiple of both the numbers now the least multiple is 48 which is common in both the numbers so this common multiple and the smallest common multiple is 48 so 48 will be the lcm of 12 and 16 okay so first step you write the multiples try to write minimum five multiples of all the given numbers check the smallest common multiple that smallest common multiple will be the lcm now second method is by prime factorization method so if you want to find a lcm of numbers by prime factorization first step is to write the prime factors now here you can see we have to find a lcm of 28 42 and 70 the first step is we will write the prime factorization of all the three numbers one by one So twenty-eight is two into two into seven. Forty-two is two into three into seven, and seventy is two into five into seven. Now LCM is LCM of these numbers. How to find now? After writing the prime factorization of these three numbers, now we will check that how many times any factor is coming. the maximum number of time if any factor is coming that we will take into consideration like in 28 now if you see in this case we have three factors which are reflecting in all three 2 3 5 and 7 now maximum number of times 2 is coming is two times this one is 2 2 is coming maximum number is two times Seven is coming one time only. Three is also coming one time, and five is also coming one time. So we will check the number of times they are coming, and maximum number of times we will take. So the LCM will be the product of these numbers. So two into two, then into three, then into five, then into seven. So multiply these. Uh, these factors you will get the answer so 2 times 2 is 4 3 12 5 60 60 7 4 into 7 is 420 this is another method to find lcm by prime factorization method write the prime factors write the product of their prime factors check how many times any factor is coming take the maximum number of times that factor which is coming multiply all and then you will get the lcm so this method is very useful when you want to find the lcm of more than two numbers next method next method we have is lcm by 
short division method now how to find lcm by short division method now let's take a case of 36 and 54 now you want to find the lcm by short division of these two numbers so let's start here now check the least uh, number with which these two are divisible 2 start from here write 2 here and write the quotient here 2 times 18 is 36 write 18 here 2 times 27 is 54 now 18 and 27 the common divisor is 3 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 9 is 27 Check the next common divisor again. Three, three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Now check again with two. This is one. Two times two is one, and with this three, it is not divisible. So three write as it is. Now last is your three, one and one. So divide till you get one as a in the last row. Now multiply all these numbers which are coming in this side. Multiply all these numbers. That multiplication will give you the LCM. So LCM is our two into three into three into two into three. This side we have multiplied now two into three into three into two into three. So answer is two times three six six times three eighteen eighteen times two is thirty six thirty six times three is one zero. So answer of this thirty six and fifty four LCM is one hundred eight. So this is called LCM by short division method. So you can find an LCM by this method of more than two numbers also. Okay, so next method now. Next method we have is Venn diagram. You can also apply Venn diagram method to find a LCM of more than two numbers also. So, like here, you can see this picture here. If you want to find a LCM of sixty and eighty-four, so sixty and eighty-four. First step is you will write all the uh, factors. You will write the product of the factors, and then You will write in the Venn diagram. Okay, like this is a rectangle here. This first circle is representing your sixty, and the second circle is representing eighty-four. So sixty prime factors product is two into two into three into five, and eighty-four. Prime factors product is two into two into three into Seven. Now write the common numbers in the in this part, which is common. This one, this shaded part. Write the common numbers here. Now see the common numbers here. Two, two is common in this. In this also, three and three is also common. So common numbers you write one time only in this this part, this common part. And the numbers which are not common, like five and seven, write it separately. Okay, now LCM will be LCM will be the product of all the numbers. Five start with the intersection two into two into three into five into seven. So after multiplying all the numbers which are in this Venn diagram, you will get the LCM. So it is two times two four four into three twelve. Twelve into five sixty and sixty into seven is four twenty. So, when you want to find the LCM by Venn diagram, first step is you represent each number with a circle and intersect both the circles, and then you write the product of prime factors of each and every number. Check the common numbers. Common numbers you put in this part, which is the common part. And the remaining numbers you write in the other part, and then multiply all the numbers in the Venn diagram. And after multiplication, you will get the answer of LCM. So this is called LCM by Venn diagram method. So in this way, you can apply any method of 
finding LCM according to your question, according to your problem, and according to your understanding level. If you think Venn diagram is easy for you, you can apply Venn diagram. If you think the other methods are easy for you, you can apply that also. So with this, your LCM methods are over. You can apply any method of your choice to find the LCM. Thank you.